Have you ever run into vibrating wire data that looks like this, or this, or even this? Did you know that electrical noise was the culprit behind each of these graphs? But what is electrical noise? And how does Campbell Scientific's V-SPEC technology help reduce or eliminate that noise? Electrical noise is electrical interference from sources such as power lines or heavy machinery. A vibrating wire sensor has what are called coils that cause the wire in the sensor to vibrate and then read that vibration. These coils are not in direct physical contact with the wire and measure it by sensing the changes in the electromagnetic field caused when a stainless steel wire is in motion. So they act like a microphone picking up the vibrations. But much like the microphone in your cell phone or laptop, it can pick up strong signals from the environment. This mixes with the sensor signal and has the potential to really mess up your measurements. Our V-SPEC technology uses spectral analysis to help remove the noise and give you data that you can trust. Now you've probably heard us say that a thousand times, but what does that actually mean for you in the real world? Let's do a little experiment and find out. Here's our setup. A 12 volt battery supplies power to everything and is connected to a CR1000. The CR1000 is connected to an AVW200, which will measure the vibrating wire sensor using V-SPECT. It is also connected to an AVW1, which will measure the sensor using the industry standard time domain method. Both these devices are wired into the multiplex channels of an AM1632B, which will allow both devices to measure the same sensor. Then, our vibrating wire sensor is connected into the common channels of the AM1632B. We are going to spin a drill to create AC electrical noise. The graph shows a blue line for the sensor signal as measured by V-SPECT, and a red line for the sensor signal as measured by the time domain method. As I engage this drill, you will see the red line move. Nothing is adding strain to that strain gauge. That jump in the red line is caused by the electrical noise from the drill. The blue line stays steady, showing that V-SPECT was able to filter out the electrical noise. Here is our second example using a DC motor. Once again, the blue line is V-SPECT and the red line is the time domain method, and again, we are not going to touch the strain gauge itself or cause any changes in strain. As I move the motor closer to the sensor, the red line jumps again due to the noise of the DC motor, the same as the AC noise. An important disclaimer, V-SPECT is better at eliminating AC noise than it is at eliminating DC noise. As we can see, V-SPECT allows you to make reliable measurements even in noisy environments, which is particularly important in applications such as mining, hydropower dams, and structural monitoring. These are the products that have V-SPECT built in. If you want to know more about V-SPECT, please visit our website or email our sales team.